251 Idahoans died fighting in the Vietnam War. A memorial that honors them is the official Idaho Vietnam Veterans Memorial, and it sits in Freeman Park in Idaho Falls. But some veterans feel the city does not do a good job promoting it. KPVI News That Works For You reporter Rachel Cox Rosen has the story. The city's supposed to take care of the lights and maintenance of this. Frank Smith is a Vietnam era veteran. He says the current Idaho Falls administration has left the Idaho Vietnam Veterans Memorial's lights, flags, and marble floor in disrepair. He also believes they don't do enough to promote the memorial. And it just really angers and saddens me that there are so many veterans in this town and we are so much a part of the voting community, yet we're ignored. City officials say the memorial is under constant maintenance, but they have only $5,000 to spend on all the memorials in Idaho Falls. But they do plan to fix the flags immediately, and they say more changes are coming soon. Just give us a little patience here. Spring just started, but we guarantee that you will feel very happy about this memorial. As soon as we get the, planted, the flowers planted and the painting done, it'll look great. Frank also says that Idaho Falls Mayor Rebecca Casper does not do enough to honor veterans. Mayor Casper's office gave KPVI this list of all the veterans events she's attended since 2014. Casper says she has great respect for veterans. The men and women who serve deserve and respect honor during their service after their service and when they've passed on we need to make sure that those memorials are quiet and reflective in places that are, that are kept well for them to come and visit. Frank hopes the city makes some changes not just for him but for the veteran community as a whole. They're brothers and sisters and we have a, 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 a in, inner connection that we'll always have and a love for each other that will always be there. Rachel Cox Rosen, KPVI News that works for you. City officials also say a business has stepped in to pay for new lights, a job that would have cost the city well over their $5,000 budget.